In this American English pronunciation video, we're going to talk a little bit more about the vowels E and E. Here along the Hudson River for Fleet Week, they're bringing out some old-time replica ships. Like the ones taken in this photo by my friend Javon. And this made me think about the vowels E and E. Ships has the E as in sit vowel, and fleet, week, both have the E as in she vowels. Now I just did a video on the E vowel versus the E vowel, a comparison, and I didn't talk about length at all. That's because I don't think length really comes into play when we're talking about a vowel on its own. But since a lot of people teach length when they teach these two vowels, I thought I should talk about it. A lot of people will say that E is a long vowel and I is a short vowel. But I feel like vowels themselves don't have a length. To me, the length of a syllable depends on is it a stressed syllable or is it unstressed? So if the I vowel is in the stressed syllable of a content word, then it will be long, even though some people would call it a short vowel. Another thing that can affect vowel length is the ending consonant. If everything else is the same and the ending consonant is voiced, then that vowel will be a little bit longer than if the ending consonant is unvoiced. So, for example, the word cap will be a little bit shorter than the word cab. Cap. Cab. So, in looking at the E vowel and the I vowel in the word beat, an unvoiced consonant there at the end, that E vowel is short. Beat. But in the word bid. The ending consonant there is voiced, so it will be a little bit longer. So don't think about the length of the vowel being tied to the vowel itself. It's tied to the syllable and the sentence position and maybe the ending consonant. This ship was interesting because instead of raising their sails, they had people standing where the sails would have been. Notice how bin spelled with two e's, is actually pronounced with the i e as in sit vowel. Listen again. Where the sales would have been. Where the sales would have been. Where the sales would have been. They're holding on to something. Hey, Javon. Yeah. Nice socks. Thanks. Really like them. Thanks, that means a lot. <laughs> a couple interesting things happening with pronunciation here. When I said, nice socks, notice how I didn't make two separate S sounds. Nice socks. Just one, connecting the two words. Nice socks. I also said, really like them. Reducing the word them to um, um and connecting that word to the word before. Like them. Like them. Listen again. Hey, Javon. Yeah. Nice socks. Thanks. Really like them. Thanks, that means a lot. <laughs> hey guys, what do you think of these ships? I think these sh ships are great. Where I'm from in Arizona, there's no water. We don't even have any lakes. And so, so this is a totally new experience for you. It's a totally new experience. They're really beautiful. Um, this is the 200th anniversary of the War of 1812, so they're celebrating this, and some of them are, I think, are replicas from that time. Cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. She knows everything. <laughs> Only a little bit. Thanks, Wikipedia. That's it, and thanks so much for using Rachel's English.